All right, what's up guys? Mr. Rushka here. Thank you for your patience. Just trying to make this a short little video, okay? Um, so we're just gonna keep going, right? Consider the sequence, find that we're gonna find the common difference or common ratio. The common difference is what we're gonna find if it's an arithmetic sequence. If we have a geometric sequence, we're gonna try to find the common ratio. The eighth term and an explicit rule for the nth term. Remember, explicit rule for a general arithmetic sequence is the first term plus n minus one times the common difference. General explicit formula for geometric series. We do um, the first term times the common ratio raised to the n minus one, okay? All right, so here, let's try to figure out if this is geometric or arithmetic, okay? So to get from negative six to 18, I can either add 24 or I can multiply by negative three. Well, let's see how we went from 18 to negative 54. I certainly didn't add 24 to go from 18 to negative 54. What I did was I multiplied by three. So I multiply by three here and three here. That means I have a geometric sequence. Right, that means I multiply by the same thing every time. Geometric sequence with R, that common ratio, the number I multiply by each time, equal to three. And then that first term is negative six, and with just those two things, I can write A sub N equals negative six to the three raised to the N minus one. So negative six times three to the n minus one, okay? Then the eighth term is negative six. Boom, look at that. Negative six times three to the seventh, which is a big number, I believe. Let me use Terry here. Times negative six, that's negative 13,122. There's the eighth term, there's an explicit rule. All right, common ratio they wanted as well. All right, what they do here, hopefully you see to go from 10 to 9.5, I can subtract a half. To go from 9.5 to nine, I can subtract one half again. Okay, so I have an arithmetic sequence with D equal to negative one half, negative one half. Be careful, okay? I'm subtracting something each time. I'm adding a, neg a negative number each time. So my first term there is 10. So then a sub n equals 10 plus n minus one times negative one half, okay? So there's my common difference. I have my explicit formula for the nth term. The eighth term then, we just plug in eight for n. All right, put that in your calculator. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, d -d 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 what did I get there? Uh, what did I do wrong? 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 Uh, the eighth term. Oh, I did eight minus seven here instead of eight minus one. Jeez. Okay, let's do that. Ten plus... 8 minus 1 times negative 0.5 gives me 6.5. Okay, so there's my eighth term right here, right? To go from 8 to 1, I can either subtract 7, but the problem here is that I can't subtract 7 to go from 1 to 1 eighth, okay? So it's got to be a geometric series. To go from 8 to 1, I multiply by 1 eighth. To go from 1 to 1 eighth, I multiply by 1 eighth. Again, again, to go from 1 eighth, to 1 over 64, I multiply by an 8. So I have a geometric sequence here. With R equal to 1 8. Okay? That first term right there, A sub 1 equals 8. So my explicit formula is 8 times 1 8 raised to the n minus 1. There's that, there's that. And then to find the 8th term, I just plug in 8 for my n. Slap that in your calculator real quick. It's a very small number. I got 3.81 times 10 to the negative six. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right, now we're gonna talk about these four. Find the first term, what we do is 
we plug in what we know to get a system and then we solve the system then we solve that system for the first term for a sub 1 and d in the case of an arithmetic sequence or a sub 1 r in the case of a geometric sequence okay so an arithmetic sequence where a sub 4 equals negative 8 times a sub 7 equals 4. So what I'm going to do here, this is an arithmetic sequence. So I'm going to start with a general rule, right? The, gen the explicit formula to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is this, right? Okay. So a sub 4 equals negative 8. What that means is when I plug in 4 for n here, okay, so a sub 4 equals a sub 1 plus 4 minus 1 times d. When I plug those two numbers in, I get negative 8, okay? When I plug in 7 for n, so a sub 7 equals a sub 1 plus 7 minus 1d, my problem tells me that that spits a 4 out, okay? So simplifying, I'm just going to simplify what's in the parentheses. I get a sub 1 uh, plus 3d equals negative 8, and a sub 1 plus 6d equals positive 4. Okay, and then I can use matrices to solve this, right? Put the matrix 1, 1, 3, 6, negative 8, 4 in your calculator and do RREF. That's what I've been doing for these. Now that we know how to do that, let's take advantage of it. It's really, e ah, come on. So 1, 1, 3, 6, I'm just using Terry right now. There we go, so I got a sub 1 equals negative 20 and b equals 4. And actually my answer is just a sub 1 because the directions just say find the first term. So once you've solved for a sub 1, that's your answer. Good. Geometric sequence, sequence okay, so the general rule for a general geometric sequence, okay. That's my general explicit formula for the nth term. These two pairs right here tell me that when I plug 2 in, so a sub 2, I get uh, uh, 3, okay? When I plug 8 in for n, I get 192, okay? So what this means is a sub 1 times r equals 3, and a sub 1 times r to the 7th, equals 192 okay all right so this is a little different right this is not a linear system what i'm going to do here i'm going to start with this guy right there okay a sub one what i'm going to do is i'm going to divide both sides by all uh i'm going to divide both sides by a a sub one so if i have a sub one times r equals three i'm going to divide both sides by a sub one all right, so I have r equals 3 over a sub 1, and I'm going to sub that in right here. So I know that a sub 1 times 3 over a sub 1 to the 7th equals 192. Okay, let's multiply that out. 3 to the 7th is 2187, so a sub 1 times... 2187 over a to the a1 to the seventh equals 192. Okay, what's going to happen here is this is going to cancel one of these, so this is going to become an a sub one to the sixth. If you're having trouble seeing what I did, I did a sub one divided by a sub one to the seventh. Okay, let me make my pencil way skinnier. My apologies. Okay. Remember, if you have x to the 1 over x to the 7th, that becomes 1 over x to the 6th because you subtract the exponents. So that's why this become a tw became a 2187 over a sub 1 to the 6th equals 192. Multiply by both sides by a sub 1 to the 6th. Boom. Divide both sides by 192. 
So I get a sub 1 to the 6 equals 2187 over 192. To get rid of that exponent of 6, just raise both sides to the 1 over 6. So a sub 1 equals 2187 divided by 192 raised to the 1 sixth power. I got 3 halves. Good stuff. All right, arithmetic sequence, again, these are a little easier. So you start with the general rule, All right? A sub five equals negative five tells me that when I plug in negative five for N, or five, sorry, positive five, sorry, that makes no sense. When I plug in positive five for N, I get uh, negative five. And that a sub 9 equals negative 17 tells me that when I plug in 9 for n, I get negative 17, okay? So I have a sub 1 plus 4d equals negative 5. a sub 1 plus 8d equals negative 17. All right, turn this into a matrix in your calculator and R, R, E, F it. So one, one, four, eight, negative five, negative 17. So I get A sub one equals seven, D equals negative three. And then this is my answer right here. They just want the first term. All right, try to make this as quick as possible. That's why I'm going kind of fast. All right, same deal. Start with a sub n equals a sub one times r to the n minus one. A sub three equals negative five, or set negative 75. And a sub six equals negative, what is that? 93.75. Okay, so I'm going to solve this. So I have a sub 1 times r squared equals negative 75. I'm going to divide by r squared. Wait, no, I'm going to divide by a sub 1, sorry. Divide by a sub 1. Okay, you get r squared equals negative 75 over a sub 1. Okay, so we have a sub 1. Eh, how do I want to do this? This is going to be kind of complicated. I'm going to solve this, this one for a sub 1 for you guys. Sorry, that's what I'm going to do first. Solving this is actually the hardest part. Okay, so sorry. I'm going to solve for... Um, it's going to be easier if I solve for a sub 1. So divide by r squared, divide by r squared. a sub 1 equals negative 75 over r squared. Plug that in right here. So I have negative 75 over r squared times r to the 5th was negative 93.75, okay? R to the fifth over R squared equals R cubed. So remember, subtract the exponents. So I have negative 75 R cubed equals negative 93.75. Divide both, and I'm gonna solve for R. So I have R cubed equals 125. Take the cube root of both sides. Get R equals five. Okay. Um, yeah, that should be good. R equals five. Um, so then I'll just plug that in up here to this equation, right? A sub one times five squared equals negative 75 or A sub one times 25 equals negative 75. Divide by 25, divide by 25, I get a sub 1 equals negative 3, okay? So I'm just using, I'm basically, for these problems, I'm starting with the general, like, formulas 
the general formulas for the nth term. I'm plugging in the information they give me to get like a system, and then I'm solving for a sub one. So email me if you guys have any questions. Thanks for your patience. We're just a little behind. Try to make this video as fast as possible. Take care.